Hey everybody, welcome to Technical. Today's episode of Shitbox is going to be called Shitbox 2, the Shitboxing. I have some news, have some updates, I have some plot twists, so stay tuned and we're going to get things rolling after the intro. <laughs> Okay, so at the end of my last video, I know I said that I'd be looking for multiple graphics cards and pitting them against one another in the system to determine a winner, but that didn't end up panning out. What I went with instead was the solitary card that I picked up in the process, a Radeon HD 6870, one gigabyte, which is perfectly fine. I don't think I would be capable of getting, at this point, another card that would have been better anyway. But in the future, if I happen to come across uh, another graphics card that is of similar or better price, I will, of course, swap it out. The shipbox is going to be an evolving piece of hardware where parts will be swapped out all the time. But the total value of the system in terms of what I pay will always be $100 or less in Canadian funds, by the way. And on a related note, earlier in the week, you might have noticed that I tweeted that I had found a better CPU, motherboard, and RAM combo, which is technically true. But unfortunately, that motherboard has begun to exhibit issues. So rather than risk it, I decided to put my rock solid P5B in here with the Q6600. The only problem I have with this setup right now is that I've only got a stock cooler for the socket and uh, to add an aftermarket would of course cost additional money and push it over the $100 limit. So we're going to have to run the Q6600 at stock and just live with it for a little bit. But I will always be on the lookout for solutions that fit into the budget so you never know. Last but not least a couple of notes about this case. Uh, the original shit case I had planned to use actually is currently housing the other motherboard that I had so I used this shit case which was actually a donor from a friend a PC that he was throwing out from about 10 years ago. This case was the biggest pain in the ass to work in because I was missing all of the drive brackets so I kind of had to just like figure out a way to screw in the hard drive. It's currently in there, four screws solidly, it ain't moving, but uh, it's kind of on an angle and it's weird. So anyway, it's closed so nobody gives a fuck. But the system is up and running and as a result I was able to run a few benchmarks on it to make sure that it was stable and uh, both Firestrike and Unigen Heaven have come back with the results as you can see here and things look pretty good for a hundred dollars anyway so uh, we'll take it back to Desk Jeff. So in actual fact Floor Jeff's here right now Desk Jeff will be with you in a minute and Floor Jeff me I'm gonna actually show you the fucking thing here it is, in all its glory, gray, silver, whatever shitbox. Uh, I'll compliment the shitbox with a fart. There we go. And uh, open the door here. What do we got? We got an empty five and a quarter inch bay. And we got an optical drive I didn't bother to connect. And you got a bunch of temperature sensors up here that used to be connected with little probes and doodads, but I cut those out because fuck all that shit. Anyway, it works. Windows is loaded, obviously. I already ran Firestrike and, and Heaven, as I mentioned before. They came out good, but what you want to see is actual gameplay footage with games that will run on this thing. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you a little sneak peek. Plus, I'm going to show you footage from the actual benchmark runs. I had to do it using the camera because running OBS on this concurrently and trying to capture footage from the actual fucking thing is goddamn near impossible. I mean, it cuts FPS down by like 15 to 20 on average, depending on what you're running. So I had to just stick with pointing at the screen, but I think that's good because you're going to get to see sort of a real world setting kind of uh, somebody just sitting on their couch, hooking this up to their TV and fucking around with it with the various multitude of games. So anyway, let's cut to that and then I'll come back. I promise you Desk Jeff will be there then and we'll close it out. Yeah, not much to say about Firestrike here. It's obviously a very tough benchmark to run, even for good, solid $1,000 sort of mid-range systems. And as you can see here, 12 to 13 frames per second on average is what we were able to muster during the demo, and the benchmarks weren't much better. Moving on to Unigen Heaven, it was obviously a lot smoother because the settings can be changed. Everything, of course, was set to low with everything off, but we still got a nice, stable 78 frames per second. I really like Heaven over Firestrike because it allows for setting variability. As a guy who buys used hardware, of course that is important because I build a wide range of systems to suit all kinds of needs. Moving on to the real reason we're here today, Super Mega Extra Innings Baseball, I think is what it's called. Honestly, I should really get that name right before I record these things. But you'll be able to find that on Steam. It's sort of like a Wii Sports graphical quality kind of baseball game. It's really fun, great local co-op action, 
For the record, no, they did not sponsor this video, and no, I do not work for the devs, and no, I have nothing to disclaim. I just happen to really like this baseball game, and I thought I would show you it. Steady 60 frames per second all throughout with VSync off. It never, ever dipped below 58, I don't think, anyway, not from what I noticed. And it was buttery smooth on this system. So if you're into dinky little fucking co-op games that you can play on your couch with your girlfriend and piss her off by striking her out, this is the game for you. And last but not least, of course, this is Shadow of Mordor. Everything has been set to low. We are playing at 1080p and you are watching me play really poorly because it's been a while since I've actually played the fucking thing. The canned benchmark gave me a 66 frames per second average. This wasn't much worse, even during combat. As you can see, it sort of hovers in the 50s, occasionally dipping into the mid to high 40s, which is still perfectly playable, and actually transcending that into the 60s and 70s when things are a little bit lighter. All in all, still a great experience for a AAA title that is still very graphically demanding by today's standards, despite the fact that it is two years old. Now, just as soon as this motherfucker kills me, we'll get back to Desk Jeff and wrap it up. Die. Die. I'm gonna die. I'm da dead. Oh, he's eating my face. Well, folks, there you have it. Project Shitbox has officially begun. The system is built. The stage is set. Shit's about to go down. Anyway, as you can see, it ain't the greatest. It's a $96 computer, not including Windows, depending on whether or not you have to pay for it. Or whether or not you want to pay for it. But it still does a pretty fucking good job considering how much it costs. Anyway, joking and kidding aside, the point of this video series is going to be to demonstrate to people en masse that you do not need a lot of money to join the ranks of the PC Master Race. What makes us on the right side of this particular argument, this long-standing debate of console versus PC, is that the member of the PC Master Race always has choice. We're not bound by a given hardware configuration that Sony or Microsoft is throwing on us. We have the freedom to choose what we want to do with our systems, how much money we want to spend, and what kind of performance we want to get. Games come with graphical options that give us a wide variety of graphical quality to suit people that are especially discerning and those of us who are satisfied with 1080p at 144 hertz and even those who are comfortable playing on a shitty Walmart TV with 200 milliseconds of input lag and no concern for things like that. We are going to do some interesting things with this machine. For every game that comes out that I think can handle it, I'm going to throw it at it hardcore. I'm just going to give it some of that. <clears throat> BBC action. Actually, B B B B B W uh, S W C. Small. Yeah. Anyway, th thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm uh, not sure what the next video is going to be, so follow me on Twitter to find out. I will keep you guys updated. And streaming will be happening again probably this Friday, I think. I'm gonna have some friends over for sure. We got a thing brewing. Me and a couple of buddies. Uh, we've got a thing brewing that's gonna take place right here. Uh, might be on a separate YouTube channel, but stay tuned because it's it's a whole different project. I got lots of stuff happening, lots of content. If you like me, if you like my brand and the breath that come with it, stay tuned. I got lots more coming.